Hello and welcome to another unboxing video from my man for Scene World. This uh, particular title came in the package with three new releases, but I thought I'd give it its own separate video. So I'll open the box and inside we find Super Carling the Spider. It's a premium plus edition released last year. Following his popular adventures on the VIC-20s, Carling the Spider is back, this time on the Commodore 64. Super Carling the Spider is packed with new levels to explore, improved graphics and presentation, new soundtracks, enhanced gameplay features and much more. So you take control of Carling the Spider as he once again faces the dreaded balls of steel. Help him on his quest to reclaim the lost rock for diamonds and to clear the name of the guy and girls who were originally framed for their mysterious disappearance. Now if you download, if you get the download or order a physical edition, you will also get the original VIC-20 game to play in emulation. Now you can see the levels of the game and a fantastic loading screen drawn by the one and only Robin Levy. So I'll be showing you some gameplay from this game both the Commodore 64 version and the original VIC-20 so keep keep watching this is the gameplay video for Super Carling the Spider on the Commodore 64 loading from disk you get a disk menu choice of load game, instructions or credits we'll go straight to the game for this video Of course, the original game was made with Vic 20, and we'll show that. So the game decrunches. A very clever effect on the title screen. We'll turn it to the sound effects. Now there are different skill levels according to how far you get through the game and you can also choose with passwords a later level. But as I'm now starting the game the only choice is the lowest skill level and the blue colour. So I'll press fire to start. You can see the credits scrolling by at the bottom of the screen. High scores telling you how far through the game they reached. So here we are on level A. It's a game very similar to the Vic 20 version with some great sound effects and then that sound means the level is complete and you then go into the portal I love this portal effect as you go on to the next screen so now we can see some bonus objects on the screen the apples for extra points and the heart for an extra life the black platforms here give you a super bounce. You have to avoid the balls and the deadly toadstools. 
it's level B complete and on to level C So now it starts to get more complex with two enemies. Oh, and there we go. Too close to the enemy, and I died. Here you can see it saves your progress through the screen, which is slightly different to the Vic version, where it resets the level when you die. We've got to come back for those, so I'm going to go over here and pick up the extra heart, the extra life collect the last, jump into the portal, bonus based on the time remaining, and an extra heart for a hundred points, for a hundred diamonds I should say. And the time, the clock symbol there resets, stops the timer and the en moving enemies. It's on to level F. Another new feature introduced here, the conveyor belts. You can see how the different enemies move at different speeds. Go bananas for the banana. So we're just one diamond left. Like Manic Miner, you can just get close to the portal like that and trigger it. Back here, collect the last two. And as you can see, as you progress through the game, you get given passwords. So I could resume at the next level with the password wasp. Down to my last life here. You can see the nasty webs that also kill you. Collecting 100 diamonds awards you an extra life. Collecting a heart also awards you an extra life. It's a good job it's generous with the extra lives, as you can see there. And that's game over. Entering my initials with a joystick, and if you go scroll through to the end of the alphabet, it says OK to enter. And again, you can see my progress. So, for comparison, I'll now show you. The original Vic 20 version. This, this section of the video looks at the original 
Carling the Spider for Vic 20. I'm going to turn the sound down so you can hear me talk about it. As you can see, layout is very similar. Control the spider, get to the exit. The enemies here are the bouncing balls that go around and the poisonous mushrooms. And here the black platforms are the bouncy springs. You can still press fire to jump as normal. The whole game is packed into standard memory of the Vic. There are versions for PAL and NTSC. Onto the third screen here, you see there's the, the nasty looking uh, webs will also kill you there. As you can see, great little animation. Oh, and I got too close to the ball there. So you have to time your super jump, your super bounce off the platform there. So you're going back down as you try to collect those diamonds. And the heart here gives you an extra life. Oh, it died again. And collecting a hundred diamonds will also give you an extra life. So close to completing that screen. So I hope you've enjoyed this video about calling the spider available now from binaryzone.org slash retrosc store.